Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It's Monday, you know what that means. Market outlook time for this week. Team of the season, community, and EFL team of the season. I wanna start off by saying, I want you guys to be aware of this. Team of the season, community got cards go out of packs Friday, 6 p.m. Team of the season, EFL are in packs through the weekend. So if you want any of these EFL cards for your team or you want to buy any of them like Calvin Phillips, Mateus Perea, any of those guys, if it's a usable player, they're going to get hit with even more supply and even more lighting rounds this coming weekend. So that's something that you definitely want to keep in mind because that means a lot more supply for these cards. Like seriously, a ton of supply is going to be dropped on the market for these cards because they're going to be in packs for 10 days, which is the, they're going to get hit with so many different sets of lighting rounds. It's going to be crazy. But a lot of people want this card because he's cracked. They say he's really, really good in game, medium, high work rates. They say he's really good. So maybe if you guys have tried to report back to me, but he doesn't fit my team. I'm not going to use him, but he looks really dope. Um, but I also want to take a look at these card prices from tonight. We had squad battle rewards Sunday night when I'm recording this. And a lot of these cards have dropped. Uh, a lot like you know 15 20 percent on some of these cards in the last hour or so casemiro is these, these guys have been falling all day and i think a lot of people bought into these cards tonight for a possible rebound into the day or into the week and you know what to be honest i don't know how, how much of a fan i am on these cards i'm gonna weigh the positives and negatives with you guys if you bought you can kind of think through the cards that you bought and also if they're still low because right now when you're, you're watching this video if you're watching it early, when it, right after it goes live, you're probably going to see some of these cards still at low prices because a lot of times what happens is a lot of stuff at uh, Squad Battle Rewards stays kind of low because people in the UK wake up and they open their rewards. Uh, they open their rewards like um, in the morning. So uh, when they wake up. So that's why right now you might see some of these prices at still low. You might be you might be wondering, are these cards still viable? Are they, oh, investable. Ah, I missed the Casimir at 120. That's a 10K undercut right there. Would have been nice. Anyway, Casimir right now is like 135,000 coins. This is one way to tell uh, if a card is like gonna be flippable, right? Let's also talk about why are people gonna be buying these cards? There is a lot of demand for these cards. They're team of the season, right? They got some big boosts. There's a lot of people on the game right now just playing FIFA. There's going to be some demand midweek that are just people trying out these cards and playing with them, right? There's just going to be some kind of demand for that. Is there enough, though, to make these cards rise back up a decent amount? That's the thing. The drop has to be big enough for the lower amount of demand, since we're not in weekend league, to kind of cover that, right? So I don't know if I'm a huge fan of investing in these cards tonight because I still think it's a possibility that we get a guaranteed team of the season SBC uh, for the league, right? Uh, now, nothing has been put into the pack code yet. That's one thing that we're seriously watching for and we need to see before uh, we can actually know if that S is coming or not. Because if that SBC is not coming, which is usually when we see the lowest prices on the new team of the season cards because of the panic selling and, the re and, and that whole thing, if that SBC is not coming, then we might have witnessed the lowest time for these cards tonight. So if you want to try one of these cards, maybe go out and give it a shot. I don't know if they're going to get hit that much with supply at rewards because I don't know how many people are going to save the rewards and how many people are going to open because, of course, the Premier League team of the season hype is going to start to build. And if it's not a Premier League card, which some people think that the Premier League cards like Felipe Anderson and Joe Gomez could possibly get into Premier League tots. I don't know how I feel about that. I last year they didn't uh last year they didn't do any Premier League cards in both. So I would think they would stay by that this year again. So I don't think I would see Felipe Anderson, Zaha, um Gomez or any of the other Prem guys in Prem tots. Just my feeling. Of course, it's not ever guaranteed. We don't know yet, but that's my feeling. Um, but you might not see the Prem guys rise up as much because there'll be some people who think they could get into Prem Tots, so they won't. We saw this last year. They didn't rise up as much. But these cards could rise a little bit throughout the week if we don't get a guaranteed Tots SBC. If you want to try to buy a couple of these cards because you want to try to flip them, this is what I would say. And this is what I look at all the time when I'm trying to do like a quick overnight flip. Yago is like 130 right now uh, on the market, right? 
So for us to make profit on Tiago for buying at 130,000 coins, we need to sell in the upper 140s to like make much, right? How much how much tax do we have here? We've got about uh 7.5k tax at 150. So if we're buying at 133, we have 7.5k tax. We can make 10k a card ish if we sold at 150. Now Tiago for most of the day today was actually a little bit below 150. And how much supply do we have here? Wow, man. That's a lot of supply. For 130,000 coin card, we have 11 pages of supply. I know he's really hyped up. I know that. I get that. Um, but to make this flip worth it, I feel like I'd want to see less supply. Now, position change, maybe you could do some of that. Chemistry style trading with these does work. Absolutely. Only on the cards that really need the chem style, though. And I'll talk about that in a second. But um, one guy that I'm looking at that could be overnight flippable because you know and this is what i say i say this all the time boys this is like my new quote right if it rose once it'll rise again right this mateus perea uh the last two nights a brazilian center attacking mid with pretty cracked stats this guy has risen from the nighttime price into the uk morning because people just want to try out these cards right they, they want to try them out this guy's stats look pretty insane so people are, are buying up these cards and they're trying them and we're seeing a price increase. Now that was during weekend league where there's extra demand. So that's something to consider. That one went on bid there at 200K. That's kind of like my buy price for this card. If I see one at 200K flat, I'm kind of pulling the trigger there. But the reason why I like this card is because of his supply, man. If we go to like 230K, which is if we, if we bought him at 200K flat, um, I would love to get 230 out of him and that honestly doesn't even look that impossible. Only five pages of supply and all the overnights are at like 210, 215, 230. So I know there may not be a ton of hype for this card, but people used it in the past couple days. Again, if I see this card at like 200K flat, I might just have to try to flip it for 230 in the morning because a lot of people are, are, are getting a look at this card and trying it out, it looks like. So that's kind of how you can gauge if a card is going to be flippable or not. Let's look at one more. Uh, Fernandinho. I'm seeing a lot of people use Fernandinho in weekend league teams. I've played him multiple times this weekend. He's like 230K at the moment right now. 233, 232 for Fernandinho. How much supply do we have at 250? Now we have 10K tax here. So this is a bit of more of an issue with the tax side of things. So we'd actually probably need to sale at like 2, 260 to really make profit on this. We bought at 230. I mean, we could technically get a sale at 250, but that would not be a lot of profit. After tax, it'd be like maybe seven, eight K a card ish. Uh, and look how many pages we have here. We have got seven, we have got eight, we've got nine, nine pages of supply, basically at 250 K with a plenty of overnights there. I'm not really sure I'm a fan of the man. I really am not sure that I'm a fan of that 230. Maybe if you see 220 though, this guy's a little got an extra hype. He's got a bit of extra hype just because he's Brazilian and he's in the Premier League. So I don't know, man. I'm just not feeling it that much with these cards because they have so much supply. But also part of me is, t is saying, yo, Nate, these guys have a lot of demand. They're new team of season cards. They're they're really good stat upgrades and they're just so cheap. So part of me does think that they could rise a little bit into this week. But that all depends on what the content is that EA drops. And that's a big question mark that we never actually know the answer to until it happens and until it comes. So again, if you want to take more of a safer route, a lot of people are trying these cards, and when they try them, they use a good chem style on them, right? Fernandinho sells for 230 right now, 252 at the shadow, 240. That's not really flippable. Not getting insta bought either. But if that was listed at 230, I would snipe that up and I would list it at 250 or 249 because that is a type of trading that you can do with these cards. I did it last night overnight. PK, I bought at 275 with the shadow, sold at 300K. I bought both of these at 140, sold at 163, 169 with shadows. This I bought at 810. And then all of these brands, I think uh, I bought all these at like 220 to 225 last night. He got really low for a bit, sold them at 250. So um, that's why, you know, that's another part of me that's like, yo, maybe these cards are actually flippable. Um, so, you know, if a guy like a Casemiro or a PK or a Godin, some of these defenders that really need the shadow chem style because they only have 70s pace, a lot of these guys are going to be good to shadow trade with, right? So just what you can do is you can sit and try to snipe the card on low bin. And then if it has a shadow on it, then you know like it's an absolute buy because uh, it probably sells for a decent amount more. But do your research first. Make sure you know the card actually sells for a bit more with that chem style. So that's, that's the biggest thing that's going on with the market right now. Also, 
with squad battle reward supply. Uh, Mateus, not Mateus Pereira. Uh, some of these 86 rateds drop back to like, they drop down like a thousand coins or so, and you actually were able to get a few of them on bid for even cheaper. 17k for Rakitic. What are people bidding him at? Uh, yeah, 16,000 coins on bid, which isn't terrible, man. And that's kind of the lowest that these guys got uh, in the past couple days because fodder is starting to go up, which, you know, for me, is kind of like an L. I maybe should try to get some cards on bid tonight because I have not stocked my club with high rateds. I've only really got informs um, in my club. And I think we're going to get more SBCs this week in FIFA. I feel like we're going to get more player SBCs. They're dropping, interestingly enough, the first couple player SBCs that we have gotten beside Icardi and Watkins the last two days we got a player moments Goretzka SBC for the hashtag we kick corona charity initiative uh and then we also got Laporte right and I think a lot of people this week are going to end up doing this Laporte card so I'm looking at maybe some like left backs in the prem right backs in the prem as like an investment like a link investment for it like we could see rise up a bit but then that's also a tricky situation because Laporte is not that good of a card. I mean, it's okay for a free card. But, uh, like this Kyle Walker, man. I bought this guy like three... I'm trying to get this Walker in for him. Three, uh, like, 320s for that one. But am I seeing that the center back Kyle Walker is 330,000 coins as well? That's pretty cheap, man. That's pretty cheap for this card. He was 380, 390 this weekend. Uh, and this is this is the next thing I want to talk about is... The out of packs Premier League stuff that could rise this next week and why I've already purchased some of it. I've already bought some cards that were getting low in the weekend league sell off because they're lower tier special cards that I don't think are going to get panic sold as much on Friday before Prem team of the season. And I think some of these out of pack specials might even rise up in price a little bit because again, not a ton going on midweek uh, and the the I don't know if people are going to start panic selling these types of cars because they think Prem Tots are going to be affordable, but they're definitely not going to be affordable. I bought this Sun tonight at 550 and 560. There's one at 569, which is still really cheap. He was 630 this weekend. Um, the Prem, this is what I want you guys to focus on. If you still see some cards that are really low on like an out of packs, especially like a shapeshifter. Again, I really like the shapeshifters. This Alexander Arnold, this Conte. Uh, a low tier and why I'm uh, mentioning low tier is because I think more of the high tier stuff like a Richarlison or maybe um, you know somebody like another Premier League OP player that's it's a, that's a lot maybe a team of the year card I think you might see more panic selling on those cards actually on Friday morning before the promo and I think you'll see less panic selling on the lower tier cards because those cards uh, will probably rise a little bit up during the week this week, just because the lower tier, more casual user base is going to see the prices and they're going to want to buy them, right? So Sterling at 223 is honestly pretty low. Uh, Wijnaldum today, I looked at him possibly getting him under like a, a 280. Again, I talked about the Vardy today. Other cards that I bought in the Prem are just kind of low tier, right? Like I was looking at Ake center back card. That's why I was interested in that Kyle Walker center back. Because if you think about some of the cards that might be in team of the season for the Prem, what center backs are we going to get that are going to be low value, right? We have Soyuncu possibility. Uh, you know, we've got possibly uh, the Joe Gomez re-release, Van Dyke, and who else, bro? I think there's one more that I can't remember right now that I was thinking of that I thought could possibly get a team of the season card from the Prem. But they have to throw in a couple center backs. I just don't know who's going to, you know, Prem center backs are always an issue. That's why I kind of like this Kyle Walker. You know, 332,000 coins. If we take a quick look at this guy, he was what price during the weekend? Kyle Walker, 87 rated center back, which is a rare position in this game already. Yeah, man, he's 330. Like this is this is a legit buy price. I should probably be buying both of these right now. Yesterday, he fluctuated between 352 and 395 and he was 335 at his absolute lowest. And even on Saturday, man, I don't even think this guy got this low. So I'm going to go ahead and pick up both of these Kyle Walkers right here at 330k because i think this card could rebound really well and you might be saying yo nate why are you investing this early what did we learn from the panic selling and from the weekend league sell-off that happened before team of season most consistent the lowest prices on the out of pack special cards was the i was actually the week before it was actually the weekend league sell-off and the panic selling before 
the promo. So right now we have weekend league sell off and some of these prices again are lower than what they were Friday morning before the panic. And Kyle Walker, this is lower than what he was before team of season uh, most consistent when we had that market crash. He was like 340K then, now he's 330. So that's why I'm kind of looking into some of these cards and that's why I bought some of these today just because they got so low and I think that this might have been their absolute lowest point for some of these out of packs Premier League meta special cards so just get on the market if you see any more low cards like this again stick to prem this whole week whether we do like um the panic that we look for on the morning on friday is going to be all premier league related because that's the stuff that's going to fly in the next week or so after next week's rewards and stuff too that's the stuff that's going to fly the most so that's what i'll be looking for this week if you want to make coins this week team of the season cards are going to be fun to trade with they're going to fluctuate a lot and we're going to have to stay on top of them because if they do drop a guaranteed team of the season SBC that's going to make life really interesting really freaking quick on these cards because that's going to be a lot of panic selling possibility for a bounce back and then that will be like the lowest time for those cards which is what I was really really looking for with these cards anyway for like an absolute buy time on them I was really looking for that time frame I don't know if, if we're actually going to get that SBC or not so that's kind of a, a to be determined um but that's going to be fun for this game too. So I hope EA puts it out. Hopefully we get upgrade packs today. Other stuff that we could see in foot this week. Uh, well, first, again, I'll stick to the trading. Uh, what you could do to trade this week. You can absolutely flip rare special cards. Whether they're Prem, whether it's not Prem. Perfect example in point. Tonight, 9 goal, and I got this at 355. And if you look at his graph, you look at his graph, man. I love flipping this card because he fluctuates like a madman. Very usable card, 364 right now. What did he do yesterday, right? I saw his lowest was 355, and he got up to 380 at one point. I got one at 355, I listed at 380. It literally sold the second hour after that. If it's a meta card, it's gonna fluctuate. It's out of packs. That's the way you can make coins this week with the price fluctuations, trading with the chem styles like we talked about on the new promo cards, and then just looking for panic selling, man. Every single time an SBC comes out, that is like replacing another item in foot, right? So this Goretzka came out today. Center mids in the uh, Bundesliga were panic sold. That's why you saw me with a Palacios uh, on my on my my transfer list. This guy was like 160K this weekend, bro. And he dropped down to the 140s and 130s. He's actually up now. Wow, man. He's up to 150. So that is a nice little bit of a rise on him. He was down in the 130s, which I got mine at today. So that's a nice bit of a rebound already. Um, but sometimes when you see new SPCs like that, you see panic or link investments. Uh, you know, that's always what happens with those new cards. So watch out for new SPCs this week. I feel like we're going to get a decent amount of player SPCs. Uh, and hopefully, again, I really, really hope that they change their minds on the league upgrade SPCs. EA Sports, please give us those for more than 24 hours. Please, I'm begging. Uh, and then again, the most interesting thing this week too is going to be Weekend League rewards, if you guys played Weekend League, uh, that's going to be interesting. But I think for the market in general, more SBCs this week means fodder is going to probably rise. I don't really like investing in fodder right now, to be honest with you, unless you're getting on open bids and you're getting some decent prices. Um, fodder never really dropped low enough like for me. Like, it, I guess it could have, but there's so many people that have invested in fodder right now. Uh, if there's one SBC that comes out that a lot of people want to do or a repeatable SBC. Maybe even you see some people start to panic sell some of this fodder if they need coins to do something. I don't know. Um, and you might see fodder drop a little bit if we get lackluster SBCs and people get tired of holding fodder. We'll see what happens this week. But I would expect player SBCs. I would expect some sort of upgrade packs from EA. And then um, just uh, more building hype about Prem Team this season this upcoming weekend other than that there could be some ucl stuff that happens this week too uh like a ucl marquee matchup because i think this was supposed to be a uh, ucl week so if you guys bought buy ucl rares that could be a move this week and all week i would expect little you know i call them dink and dunk pack supply sbcs 25k pack here one of them untradeable maybe the next day 35k pack tradable that's going to hurt the prices for these uh for these team of the season cards it's going to bring supply on the market they're going to drop and then they might rebound a little bit after that. It just depends on the card. But that'll cause some market movements this week as well. 
Really not sure what to expect this week in terms of just team of the season content, except more SBCs and just it's team of the season. But what else do we have to do without upgrade packs, man? So I really hope we get the upgrade packs. That'll be fun. I've got the team of the season counter ready to go, boys. It's right here. I've got the counter ready to go. I need to pack some. I want to take a shot at packing a few of these so that I can actually use that freaking counter. That's what it's made to do, right? So uh, that's the market outlook for this week, boys. I think that we're going to be looking on Friday for a major, major, major point of panic. And we'll be talking about all that later this week. But Premier League is the way to go this week. Because, because again, if we're buying something that we're going to sell, it's going to be booming later in the week after Prem Team of the Season does come out. That's the, that's the biggest point of this week, honestly, is the end of the week. That's the most hype period that we're going to be looking for. So if you guys enjoyed this market outlook video today, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace.